I was just trying to be funny. It was. Cool. But not for him. Oh, not for him, oh, okay. Steve-O, who is best known as a superstar comedian, stuntman, and TV personality, who starred on the MTV reality show Jackass, has finally settled into some pretty luxurious real estate in Los Angeles. Previously, Steve-O had rented four apartments on a floor that came complete with some of the craziest stories you've ever heard. This includes building a casual skate ramp in his apartment. This was during Steve-O's drug use, so we're talking all sorts of crazy amenities like a prostitution ring. However, after becoming sober and making some major life changes, he snagged a stunning two level contemporary residence that features almost 2,500 square feet and boasts three bedrooms and three bathrooms and comes complete with expansive balcony with lush canyon views. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour you don't want to miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. Steve-O has had quite the eventful career in show business, and today he has a net worth of $2.5 million. Best known for his antics in the Jackass movie, Steve-O has made a name for himself in the entertainment industry by dabbling into music and stand-up comedy. I mean, just think of the crazy stories he has. Steve-O went on to drop out of university to join clown school, and after three years, Steve-O worked professionally as a clown and filmed various stunts. He would regularly send Case of his stunts, Big Brother, a skateboarding magazine, which would end up being the future director of Jackass, Jeff Tremaine. The show ended up becoming an international success, and Steve-O quickly became a fan favorite. In fact, for Jackass the movie, Steve-O joined the cast, and the film grossed almost $80 million worldwide on just a $5 million budget. Throughout Steve-O's ascent to fame, he had been heavily reliant on drugs and alcohol. His substance abuse began to take a toll, most notably on his mental health, and as a result, he lost a lot of money, which is probably why his net worth isn't as high as you'd expect. I went off the deep end. I got I was like all drugged out. I took like five bars of Xanax. Like I woke up in my bedroom and it's full of police officers and firemen. However, after getting the help that he needed, Steve-O has since become a stand-up comedian, which included international tours and his first comedy special in 2016. In addition, Steve-O has a YouTube channel through which he shares videos of various stunts and pranks. In 2020, his channel had amassed over 5 million subscribers. So the house tour will include a combination of his crazy apartments and his new hillside dig above Beachwood Canyon. Hey, what's going on guys? boy Marlon Palmer and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I know it's 95% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily. We previously reported on the homes of Tiger Woods and Selena Gomez so if you'd like to please check out those. Now that we got the details on the new place it was time for an update. If you like these videos ring that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at McFly so we can chat some more and let me know whose house tour is next in the comments down below. Let's get into the video. Steve-O's famous home called Casa de Stevo was the main cave and house of debauchery where he did most of his party. The home comes with all sorts of crazy stories and amenities, including a prostitution ring happening in the same building. In fact, one night after a fight with his neighbor, he actually punched a hole through the walls into his apartment and stuck speakers into the hole. Steve-O went on to rent four apartments in the building but would eventually get evicted, possibly because of the skate ramp in his kitchen and living room. The home was located in the heart of Hollywood and featured 1,100 square feet and boasted two bedrooms and two bathrooms and decked out with props from his stunts, including the stapler he nailed to his crotch, the cheetah undergarment, and boomerangs which have punctured his body. Fun fact, Steve-O proudly hung his clown college degree, perfect for boasting to all of the guests that partied there. And when I say partying, I mean the home featured an abundance of broken cabinets and tables, empty beer cans and condoms. Don't worry, they were they were not used. As you'd imagine, the home featured stained carpets throughout and a television set virtually in every room of the house. I will say that the living room does feature access to a balcony that is quite modest compared to rooftop, but more on that in a minute. His bedroom features a large mattress decked out with joker sheets, a television on nightstand, and window with curtains which were probably used during his hangovers. In addition, there is a skateboard tucked in the corner which he used on his skate ramp, and there are more broken fixtures including a dresser with his clothes lying in the shelves. Attached to his bedroom is a bathroom that features cracked tiling and a abundance of stains, but actually a decent sized shower. The guest room features a mattress sprawled on the floor, litter box chilling right beside and yet another television. But hey, the room comes with a decent sized mirror. The kitchen features a busted fridge that comes complete with alcohol to support a dining hall and an abundance of stoner food. They actually had to push the fridge back so they could connect the ramp from the kitchen to the living room. After completing the loop in the den, the ramp would finish in the living room as Steve-O and his crew would have to avoid pillars. As much as this place was a party house, the rooftop was actually quite luxurious. The rooftop featured an abundance of lavish furniture 
furnishings, a hot tub, and boasted terrific views of Hollywood. Perfect for relaxation. It's such a shame Steve-O got evicted because I totally wanted this invite. Steve-O's most recent real estate portfolio was a stunning two-level contemporary residence that features almost 2,500 square feet, boasts three bedrooms and three bathrooms, and comes complete with an expansive balcony with lush canyon views. The lavish abode features a high fence with secured entry gate and a dramatic overlapping roof line. A tiny and gated courtyard leads to the front door that opens directly into a 40-ish foot long open plan main living space with wide plank wood floors and a charmingly pitched post and beam ceiling. Just inside the front door features a grand foyer that is steps away from a compact but well-equipped kitchen decked out with walnut cabinetry. In addition, the kitchen features slob marble countertops, high quality stainless steel appliances, an island perfectly centered in the room and a walk-in pantry with more space than you know what to do with it. A three seat snack peninsula divides the kitchen from the cozy dining area. At the far end of the room, a corner fireplace lies beneath a flat screen television, which anchors the living area. In addition, the living room features sliding glass doors that open to the home's primary outdoor living space, a roomy canyon view terrace that wraps around the width of the house. Adjacent to the living room, which also features a direct glass slider access to the canyon view terrace, boasts an oversized den could pose as a fourth bedroom, as it has a generous walk-in closet and access to the windowless main floor bathroom. A banister edges in the narrow stairwell that leads down to the lower level bedrooms. There are two nicely sized guest family bedrooms that share a two sink hall bathroom, plus a master bedroom with two closets and enough room for a sitting area. Glass sliders open to a private balcony over the steep hillside and the attached bathroom with freestanding soaking tub and separate shower space. Staying true to his jackass roots, Steve-O has an edit room that is decked out with a storyboard, collectibles, and props from his stunts, including a few smoke bombs. Should we, should we bowl it? <laughs> what does it do? I don't know, it's just a smoke bomb, I think. Steve-O has an abundance of dogs, most of which he rescued, including one he picked up in Peru. Steve-O also has a secluded backyard decked out with artificial grass, potted plants, and ample amount of private space that gives him room to practice his pyro stunts. All right, so I think we'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Steve-O's homes, including his most recent snag in Beechwood Canyon. After seeing that fancy little cribby snag, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of Steve-O? Personally, when you compare the two homes, it really looks like Steve-O turned his life around. Am I right? Not that I wouldn't want to party in Casa de Steve-O, Let's, let's, let's be real here. Out of Steve-O's features, which were your fave? You guys can go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. I'd love it if you guys would follow me on Instagram at thatdoomcfly. And let me know whose house tour to do next in the comments below. See you guys next time. Bye.